Douglas Village, one of Cork's biggest shopping districts. Then, floods bring shopping to a halt. Now, investigators must find out why the flooding caught everyone by surprise. Disasters don't just happen, they're caused by a sequence of critical events. Unravel the clues and count down those final seconds from disaster. Europe, Ireland, Cork City. 130,000 people live in the city of Cork. Tucked into the southern coast of Ireland, it has long been a vital seaport. The population of Douglas is over 25,500 people. In the heart of Douglas is Douglas Village, which has two shopping centres, a cinema, bars and restaurants. 12pm, June 28th. 2012. A thunderstorm develops as torrents of rain continues to fall in the suburbs. Water surfaces in drain pipes. Cork has been hit by floods before. On the 9th of November 2009, just over 51 millimeters of rain fell in Cork City, causing the rivers to burst its banks causing havoc to the city services. Damage was 44.5 million euros. KM. The rain dies down as 36 millimeters of water falls in three hours. Up to a meter of water has surged onto the main streets of Douglas Village, where 3,000 homes have been damaged. The water destroys the power boxes and all electricity in the area is lost. Seconds from disaster will continue in a moment. And now back to seconds from disaster. Douglas has been full after an hour of transfer. Now the cleanup operation begins. 3.30 a.m. Rescuers hurry to the scene. Volunteers help to clean up as thousands of pounds of mud and water make roads impassable. There are no serious injuries, but when rescuers enter deeper into the shopping centre, they make a shocking discovery. All the animals in the pet shop have drowned. How could this disaster happen? After the 2009 flooding, the Irish government built a huge culvert which prevents this kind of accident. Now, by rewinding the events of that dreadful night, and by going deep into the investigation, we can reveal why this disaster happened. Locals in the village blame the disaster on the culvert that lies under the Douglas Village shopping centre. Investigators discover that at the height of the deluge, the culvert was virtually empty and had not been overwhelmed. The culvert worked in the way it was supposed to. So if the culvert didn't cause the disaster, what did? Seconds from disaster will return after this. We now return to seconds from disaster. Investigators are trying to discover what caused the Douglas Village floodings. Now, by going into the report, we reveal what really happened. The underground pipes under Douglas Village grew to service the booming economy during the Celtic Tiger. The result? A labyrinth of pipes cables and tunnels. Investigators examined the flood pavement on the Douglas Village 
and make a shocking discovery. The chains near the culvert are blocked by gas bottles, concrete blocks, tyres and mud. Because of all the debris, the water couldn't get to the culvert fast enough, so the mud and water, looking for a way out, surfaces on the streets, causing Douglas Village to be flooded with serious consequences. Seconds from disaster will return after this. And now back to seconds from disaster. Now, by using the evidence uncovered during the investigation, we can reveal what happened to Douglas Village and why the flood left the people of Douglas seconds from disaster. Three hours to disaster. Heavy rains fill the sewers with water. Two hours to disaster. Water unable to escape through the culvert because of blocked pipes surfaces onto the streets. Disaster strikes. Water flows down from the hills around Douglas Village, depositing mud all over the village. No one was injured, but the animals in the pet shop drowned in the floods. The total damage was 6 million euros. In fact, the culvert prevented the disaster from becoming an even greater tragedy. It allowed some water to escape and prevented more water from going up to the streets. The culvert was found to be in good working order and the reason it didn't prevent the flooding was because it was blocked by debris. The bars and restaurants were heavily damaged but had cleaned up and were open for business the next day.